Hello, everyone. Back in January of 2022, we here on Bad Music Video Theater covered the video for George Harrison's My Sweet Lord, and I marveled at the idea of covering a brand new music video for a classic song by a Beatle. Never in a million years did I think we would actually cover a Beatles song on this show. Well, 2023 is full of surprises, and there's a new Beatles song, and of course, an accompanying video. Is it a look back on the good times of Beatles past? A new boundary-pushing technological marvel? A cheesy attempt to incorporate John and George into modern footage? Unfortunately, the answer is yes to all three. In 1958, John Lennon met Paul McCartney when his band was performing at a church fete. A mutual friend brought him to see my group called the Quarrymen. No, 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 we don't need that much background. Well, let me ask you it this way. Are you getting back together? No. And yet, with three as a bird, we, we did. somehow did. Yeah. In 1994, the remaining three Beatles were hard at work on the anthology project when George Harrison approached Yoko Ono about finishing up some of John's old demos. Was there anything of John's that never came out? Maybe we could work with it. And uh, she sent us these tapes, and that's how it came about. And in actual fact, we didn't know as much as most Lennon fans, because they they'd actually knew all the releases. They knew that... Uh, um, Free as a Bird and Real Love had been heard, they'd heard them. We hadn't. Along with producer Jeff Lynn, they were able to finish the first two, but now and then proved to be more challenging. Because the demos were recorded on cassette tapes, they found it difficult to separate the vocal tracks from any instrumentals. Free as a Bird and Real Love were a bit higher quality, so it was easier to do, but now and then proved impossible. Thus, the song was shelved, and the anthology project only contained two new Beatles songs. What's the point? Well, I can't figure out just two, so let's pretend you open 200. Fast forward to 2021. Peter Jackson is directing a three-part, nine-hour documentary about the Get Back sessions and simultaneously uses state-of-the-art technologies to clean up the audio and picture through AI! <laughs> God damn you, little microphone. After viewing the results, Paul McCartney sent him a copy of the tapes to see if it was possible to separate the audio just enough to create new audio tracks. It was, and they finally were able to mix a new version of Now and Then. Because they worked with Peter Jackson on the audio cleanup, Paul and Ringo hired him to direct a video for the song. And unfortunately, being an Oscar-winning director doesn't necessarily mean that your skills translate over to music videos. How do you create a music video for a song that's taken nearly 50 years to complete? Not like this, that's for sure. We start with anthology footage from 1994, with Paul, George, and Ringo recording their parts for the aborted 90s version. It then cuts to 2023 footage, and that's when the problems start. Remember who you are. Oof. Wow, this looks awful. Not only does this look cheesy on the face of it, but they really chose terrible clips to put in. It feels weird to have a Sgt. Pepper's costume out of context, and John is having too much of a laugh grinning and pointing at Paul. It's far too goofy for this somber song. And then they just keep doing it. Here's John conducting the orchestra. Here's 60s Ringo playing the drums with modern Ringo. Here's two Georges. Isn't this fun for everybody? Isn't it fun? Thanks to modern editing techniques, we can use existing footage to complete the film without Millhouse. <laughs> Watch. Oh, 
seamless, huh? You're fired. And with good cause. This isn't going to end the Paul is dead conspiracy. We then end the video with highlights from Beatles history, which frankly is what the entire video should have been. It's such a weird dichotomy to go from this highly edited modern footage to classic Beatles images like this. At this point, I can't even be sure that Paul and Ringo were ever in the same room. This feels like I'm watching the George Lucas special edition of Get Back. At some point, a famous filmmaker said, Beatles songs. They're never completed, they're only abandoned. Some of the animations they do on these photos are so subtle that I started questioning my own sanity when I first saw them. This clip is from former drummer Pete Best's personal collection and is the only footage with the band in their original leather jackets. Getting this footage must have been a very awkward conversation. Hey Pete, uh, it's, uh, it's Paul McCartney. How's it been going? Great. Great, um, listen, so we've got this video we're doing. It's a shame that they decided to make it this way. They easily could have just shown clips of Paul and Ringo finishing the song, followed by archival footage of the band together. But no, they decided that John needed to mug to the camera. Is it something we shouldn't do? Every time I thought like that, I thought, wait a minute, let's say I had a chance to ask John. Hey, John. Would you like us to finish this last song of yours? I'm telling you, I know the answer would have been, yeah, he would have loved that. I trust Paul here, but like at a certain point, it feels like he's going to say that no matter what, right? Like there's no way that Peter Jackson is going to dredge up a clip that's basically like, Say, John, I have a bit of a question for you. Yeah, what's that, Paul? Things are all right now, of course, but what if you died young? Like really young and i live to be old you know really old if we found one of your old tracks just knocking about would you be all right if me and the lads went in and finished it up yeah i hoped you would i'd love that actually you know if i had to guess i would have thought you'd say that hey guys hello, hello ringo. ringo is that a bug on the flower pot oh dear i'm allergic swat it ringo it's also interesting that of the two Beatles videos from the 90s, one is a digitally created tour of the Beatles mythology, and the other is a straightforward history with new recording footage, and Peter Jackson decided, why not both? The Beatles were seen as technological innovators for their entire careers, and it really sucks that they threw away their last chance at a music video by doing the same green screen shtick as Forrest Gump. Hard to imagine. Well, it's easy if you try, Dick. Thanks for watching, everyone. I always appreciate people liking and sharing my videos. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Do you know a terrible music video you'd love to see me cover? Drop it in the comments. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. With all the stink that news reports were bringing up about AI, I was really expecting everyone to look like Beatles Rock Band. So much for machine learning.